Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care. I am switching over my blades. This uh, rusty blade in the front is one of my spare blades off of my John Deere G15. Uh, 36 inch walk behind. And the two new blades are, they're a gator style blade. They're actually the Predator. Uh, I'll show you the show you the part numbers and everything and these are the different models that it fits the GS25, GS30, 45, 75 G15, uh, HD45, HD75 so anyway uh, ordered these off of Amazon they were a really good price and uh, I've been wanting to try the uh, gator blade style blades for this mower to mulch up the clippings a little bit better and uh, so what I'm going to do these have a pretty thick coating of paint on them so I'm going to take my flap disc and run over the run over the cutting edge on those real quick just knock the paint off basically and then I'm going to put them on my G15 and mow the front yard and uh, see how they do That bend in the blade, where it makes that step down or step up, whichever way you look at it, it's kind of an awkward uh, bend to sharpen. But anyway, uh, I've got the paint knocked off of it, so I'll do that on all four cutting edges and we'll be ready to put them on. The new blades are installed on the G15, so time to test it out. Let's find some clippings. I'll tell you what, let me go down here. I've got a there's kind of a patch down here that's thicker than the rest and tends to grow a little faster. See if I can find any clippings there. I mean, ideally that's great. If I don't find any clippings at all, that's exactly what I'm looking for. But uh, it would be helpful to find some clippings so I can see about how long they are. With the standard blades, you know, the factory blades that I was running on it, uh, my typical clippings were the length of whatever I was cutting off. So if I was cutting off an inch, inch and a half, uh, that's how long the clippings would be. It really didn't reduce my clippings at all. And uh, what I was hoping to see with this was a reduction in the size of clippings. And what I'm seeing is no clippings at all. So 
that doesn't really help. You know, it's reducing the clippings down to half an inch or whatever. So here's here's a clipping in one of these damaged areas. And uh, that's probably about an inch. But here's another one. There's another one that's dropped it. That's not even half an inch. So here are a couple more. You can see one right there and a couple there. And make my, here's my thumb. So my thumb's probably close to three quarters of an inch wide. So you can see, I mean that is, that's reducing those clippings down to nothing. So that's fantastic. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. And the fact that I can't see any clippings on the lawn at all, even in the thicker areas, is excellent. I mean, that is, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So, so I went from a standard clipping size with the regular blades of, you know, like I said, whatever length I was cutting off. So anywhere from an inch to two inches. Uh, typically, I would let it grow about an inch and a half before I would cut it off. And I cut this at three and a half inches exactly so uh, <clears throat> it reduced those clippings down to maybe half an inch and to the point where I, I can't hardly even find clippings except for on these you know dead areas where the where fungus had uh, caused me a bunch of issues recently so it's the only place I can even find the clippings so very pleased with the predator blades guys if, uh, if you haven't tried those or tried the gator blades, it's, it's essentially what they are. That's what I was looking for, and I found these. Um, so, anyway, try them out, guys. I'm pretty happy with them. Thanks for watching.